Hello everyone, uh, welcome to Vinotra Theorem Tutorials. Today we are going to create an end to end scenario using call to insert new action. You can see the requirement which is mentioned in the PPT. It took one hour for me to create this scenario, but I have edited this video for less than 12 minutes. So when you do this as an assignment, do it slowly, step by step and take this video as reference. If you are capable of creating this scenario by yourself, then we have completed 70% of automation. Let us start creating the scenario now. Open the UFT and, and choose the required add-ins like ActiveX, Visual Basics and Web. Click on uh, OK button. We are using 12.52 version. Now create a test launch application so file new and give the name as launch application click on create button now new test is created our first step is to launch the application so use system util object system util dot run followed by the application and URL so here we are using Internet Explorer IE so IE Explorer dot exe then we have to give the URL so we have created the launch application just execute and confirm whether the code is working or not the application is launched successfully so first step is completed the second step is to create a new action for seat availability screen I can insert a new action by right clicking and select the call to new action or from the design menu I can choose the this option that is call to new action so now I am creating using a right click option call to new action change the action as seat availability by default the action here will be reusable and the location of the insert at the end of the test click on ok button once you choose this option click on ok in the canvas window we can see the execution flow as flowchart and we must give the meaningful name for the action to do this what we can do is so using solution window we can rename the action as launch application just rename and give it as launch application once you rename here automatically the name will be changed in the canvas window just click yes as warning message so the name has been changed using uh, solution explorer we can do like this and we have another way using the action properties also we can rename the action now the next step is we are going to create the shared object repository before that I am creating a folder object repository it is always a good practice we have to keep each file in the respective folders so that it will be easy for us to maintain so using object repository manager I am creating the shared object repository and using object spy I am going to add object one by one so click on uh, seat availability and I am adding it to the OR now navigate to the seat availability screen and add all the required uh, objects one by one just add it so same way I have added all the objects one by one now save the shared object repository inside the object repository folder as Indian Railways here the first we have to make some changes 
the first for browser needs to be done for browser the creation time is zero make it as none because we are going to use only single browser and it is always a good practice we have to make ordinal identifier as a none and the smart identification as a false so you try to follow this standard then we have uh, two page objects i'm moving the a seat availability to then uh, another hierarchy so that it will be easy for us to maintain whenever you do any modification highlight and confirm remove the unwanted objects now rename the object as per the coding standard followed in your company so each company will have its own standard all the objects are renamed save it close now I am associating the shared object repository using solution explorer open it now it has been associated open the shared object repository drag and drop the objects as per the required sequence then once you uh, drag and drop all the hierarchy or objects I am just adding the synchronization for uh, first object uh, seat availability dot dynamic weight exist five again if this exists then the action will be performed same way I have added in all the synchronization point and the values now we will see how to give value for the drop down spy the class drop down and copy the all items values to a notepad these are the values used by the web developer so we must give this value correctly then only drop down option will work as expected similarly get the values for quota drop down and here you can see i have mentioned the values as per the data which we got it now execute this particular code using run from step it is like doing the unit testing just click on run from step run it this particular portion of code alone will execute now i am adding the code for screenshot so that page dot it will take the screenshot of that page capture bitmap method and i have to give the path of file so i am creating a one more folder for results just create the results folder then take the path of it inside that folder the file name will be availability dot bmp it can be jpeg also and the true uh, is like uh, overriding the results file if we execute again and again else it will throw you an error same way i am adding one more uh, action to close the application so action name is close application and uh, we have to give the description click on ok button now close application is created always give the comments then system utility object system util dot close we have many methods to close the application using the help you can read it now i am using close process by name and i am closing the ie so ie explorer dot exe i'm just executing this particular code using a run from step run it this should close the ie application yeah it's worked this is the hierarchy of our test launch seat availability close application now i am going to execute as a full 
test just run that it is launching the application all the values are entered and took the screenshot it is very fast when compared to the functional testing and uh, you can see the screenshot of the file it took the screenshot also UFT have the inbuilt uh, result configuration or result file so it gives all values like total memory and uh, duration user time zone which the system or host computer we have used and a step by step details also hope you understood uh, how to create a new test with a multiple action this is how we have to create the flow and depends upon your requirement you can use any number of action that's the end of today's session in case of any clarification please post your queries thanks for watching have a great day